Double eighty here with a, um. I don't know what it is. It's a video, but um, everybody watching my videos pretty much knows I collect Transformers. But since Transformers have been being released extremely slow, I started collecting Marvel Universe, DC Universe, and GI Joe, which I loved when I was a child. Well, especially the GI Joe. But um. I absolutely like these figures a lot. Like, they're small but detailed, and they're, like, they're really nice, like, they're, like, more adult detailed, like, not little kid detailed. They're not cartoony. That's right, baby, you tell them. I like it. I got Thor. I got Cable. X-23, I never knew she existed. I stopped reading comic books a long time ago, so I guess that's Wolverine's cloned daughter or something like that. We got, um, Frost Giant and Galacticus, which... Right. And then I got a so-called beat the shit out of Iron Man just laying in his arms because I actually bought this figure for my son a long time ago when I guess they first got released because he's from Wave 1 and I didn't pay him no mind because I didn't collect anything else but I found him I mean he's missing an arm but he's a perfect beat up Iron Man I might just scrape him up to make him look like shit but they pretty much come in different sizes what I like about it they got like this like not all the figures are one size like all the old figures like pretty much like you see, she got a female size. He's like, kind of like, you know, he's a little bigger than a normal build. And then you got the real bulky guys, like Thor. And then you got your Frost Giants, which are medium sized figures, I guess, in line. And then you got your big ass Galacticus. I got a Sentinel too. They're pretty sweet. And they got great articulation. They, most of the figures got. No, actually, this one doesn't. No, no, these figures don't. Some of them do. They, I know they got double jointed knees. Some of them have the double jointed elbow. Very little. Like a lot of them have different jointed um ankles and stuff like that. Like some of them have where you got left and right movement instead of just back and forth. I don't know. And some of them got like. Let's see if I can zoom in. Like the swivel hip right here. Some of them don't. Some of them have um. Instead of that swivel hip, they got like a ball joint, and then the hip attaches to that. Like, so Hasbro tried a lot of different stuff with these figures, which, I, it all works to me. I like it. They're very highly posable figures, very detailed. I like that waves two and three come with stands, because the first wave doesn't come with stands, and trust me, once you start lining these little guys up by themselves, and one falls over, dominoes. And you get really aggravated, especially when you got a lot of them, because I have like 70 figures now. When I start collecting, you know, I pretty much go all out, man. Like, if I don't see that figure, I'm wasting my money and buying it. It's sad, but whatever. I know how to make money, so. Like, I like some of them got, like, there's, when I first bought this guy, Cable, I didn't have the Baby Hope figure. I was pretty upset about, like, they put two variants out. That's kind of shitty. But I bought this one because I wanted the baby hope variant so then they got the thor they got like the one that comes with like the dark blue and then there's one with black now they got the one that comes on the, the the stand that lights up that makes a big circle for the avengers and i got that one too of course i got like 10 wolverine variants it's just ridiculous but even like the big guy she's got the removable skull and you can see his beautiful face god some others gotta love him He's got um, one hand. He's got only one hand. He's got movable fingers. Each one's jointed. I, they show this hand holding the axe on the box. It doesn't do it very well. So it's kind of hard to jam it in that one, but I did it. They got the, um, a lot of them have the, the bigger figures got that, that abdomen, like, I don't know joint that kind of crunches, not like these ones where they like, they kind of like ride up. There's like more like a, it's like a, I don't know, you can't see it because it's waist, but he's got like a joint. Yeah, like a bend 
that. Ah, my finger's on the camera. That doesn't work out. <laughs> it's more like a joint. See. But they're pretty nice. Yeah, that's right, baby. You tell them. I know you guys, it's like how I got the Dark and the Moon poster in the back so you guys don't see my dirty ass table with a bunch of shit on it. Because my, cause my, my girl's a slob. She likes to throw everything everywhere. What? What do you got to say? <laughs> That's my best figure. Right there. My favorite. Play with that one the most. But, um, I don't know, I was bored and want to do a video. And, in case anybody's been wondering about collecting the Marvel Universe figures, if you like Marvel, if you like comic books, if you like detailed figures, I'd go for it. Like, a lot of the figures, like, you can pull the gun out the waist, the holster. Maybe this ain't one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them, I know it is. There. Like a lot of them have storage for their weapons and stuff like that. Like little detail like that makes them really nice. You know what I mean? I don't know. But if you want to check these figures out, I'd say do it. It's worth it to me. And they're not expensive either. You can find them for like between seven to nine dollars. Like not bad at all. Compared to Transformers, which are 12 to 16. And if you go to certain places like Rite Aid and stuff like that, where they got older Transformers that like are hard to find in stores, they're charging 20 bucks a pop. But, I don't know. Rate, comment, whatever you gotta say, let me know. In the below me bar. Take it easy.